world news. Israel's army says it will pause daytime fighting along a route in southern Gaza to help the flow of aid for desperate pa Palestinians. This coming after eight Israel Israel soldiers were killed in Gaza. Fox News correspondent Trey Yingst has more from Tel Aviv. Israel's military suffering a deadly attack this weekend. Eight soldiers were killed in Rafah in what was the deadliest attack on Israeli forces in months. Despite the heavy and staggering cost, we must stick to the goals of the war. An Israeli spokesperson revealing the soldiers were traveling in an armored personnel carrier when an explosion took place, likely from buried devices or an anti-tank missile, a funeral for some of the soldiers taking place Sunday. If only you had more time, the things that you have done would have been endless. The attack reinforcing Israel's goal to overtake Hamas's positions in Rafah, potentially impacting ceasefire negotiations. It is clear to us that we need to defeat the Rafah Brigade. I think that this task is progressing in a determined, professional manner. Despite the blow, Israel's military did announce Sunday it would pause some fighting during daytime hours to allow for humanitarian aid deliveries. The limited tactical pause only applies to a small part of southern Gaza and falls short of the potential ceasefire deal on the table. The idea behind this pause is to create a safe corridor, an 11-hour window where trucks can move safely to the crossing, pick up supplies, and move back uh, into Gaza to deliver them. The IDF said the pause would be indefinite, which drew criticism from Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. In Tel Aviv, Trey Yingst, Fox News. Your full forecast is coming up next.